How do we respond today to the signs of the times by living the gospel, by following the mission of charity in this 21st century? Pope Francis initiated Share the Journey. And he asked all Catholics in the world to please recognize that we're all neighbor to each other. When I think of who my neighbor is, I, I immediately focus on those who we want to lend a helping hand to. Because of the way the sisters started the foundling, we take the idea of neighbor very, very seriously. Our neighbor are those that are less advantaged, at risk. Those are our neighbors that we're most concerned about. Neighbors are our families, the people we live with, the people we work with, our community. Our clients are people who have been marginalized throughout their lives. Their families have often lost contact with them, and we are their family. This was Sister Eileen Walsh's dream to build here. She had worked in the orphanage. So in the late 1800s, it was an orphanage where I believe it was five Sisters of Charity and three orphan children came, and they set up housekeeping here. And during that time, the, the children were nurtured and loved and cared for thousands over the years until they closed in the mid-1900s. But now we're still nurturing and caring for a new population, and that happens to be our senior citizens um, in need of affordable housing. So it's, it's a great thing to see history continue this way and meeting new needs. We believe healthcare is a right. It's a right that everybody has. And regardless of their ability to pay, it's our job, our mission, to take care of them and provide the best care possible to them. I think a piece of that comes from, from the sisters themselves. I think the love really comes from our namesake. St. Elizabeth Seton, which is, you know, the foundress of the Sisters of Charity. When you walk into our building, we have a statue of St. Elizabeth Seton, a mom and a dad, and a little child. Above the statue, the staff named it, and um, we named it All Are Welcome. And I think what's more important is that not, as, not only is everyone welcome, but everyone belongs. So people really feel like this is their home. The sense of gratification that I feel, I mean, it may be selfish to say that, but I just really feel um, blessed. There is injustice around us, there is inequality, and, and how are we called as people of faith? Our ministries in the network, our organizations, our groups, our institutions that really are promoting civilizations of love.